Why hello there everyone, and welcome to another update video for the channel, I'm Death Stranger of course. And uh, sorry for the lack of videos last week entirely, I did not mean for, let's see, today's date is the 22nd. So, yeah, all last week literally no videos at all. On that was because I, I tried recording on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And Elgato, OBS, both did not uh, want to record correctly. It was more or less Elgato than anything, but OBS uh, was my... What? First try was Elgato, which failed. Second time, OBS literally... Um, I, when I set up the mixer and everything, I forgot to enable uh, the dual... Uh, audios so my commentary was the same on the same track as the game audio so if I had so it was literally a mess and I didn't want that type of audio I want separate audio that way if one thing may fail I still have like audacity if a commentary fails or something so I wanted to uh, just kill that then the third time I could not Oh, technically the third time wasn't even a complete way because of the fact that it didn't, um, it basically, think, like, just like, I'm sure you guys are familiar with OBS where the encoder can be d dumb and everything, but I literally, the, I stupidly did stop the encode, like I stopped the recording while the encoding overloaded, so the entire thing froze. And I, and I just, it was so late at that point because I stupidly recorded it super late, but. And the worst part about it is that Telltale Games, their games are not designed to be rewound without completing the actual episode first. So I literally, uh, the episode, the at part one and everything of episode three for Batman that I just put up on the channel, I literally had to per play up that episode waste 40 minutes of my time before I can even record it at all because I just wanted it to get recorded and then of course it had that error that you guys saw and everything which thankfully it worked out in my favor so goddamn much but um what is it? Uh, yeah, while uh, the technically the week that I was uploading the Walking Dead at, um, episode four videos, I was getting uh, PC parts. Thankfully, I got them uh, pretty much both on uh, the Wednesday. I think it was either Monday or Wednesday, I believe. And then yeah. Because I got a Ryzen 7 1700. Uh, uh, just because I wanted the 8 cores mostly. Because they definitely help out in rendering Premiere. Because I went from going to 30 to 45 minutes for a simple around 25 minute video. To rendering any, nearly any video in 10 to 15 minutes or less. So... And that's for the encoding. Of course, it takes time somewhat for it to get all the uh, files together and everything, but when it encodes, it doesn't take that long at all, which is awesome. As well as I can play, uh, I also got the GTX 1070 from, uh, what was it? Uh, it wasn't MSI, it was GDK, I think. No, Asus, that's right. Yeah, I see the box, but. It was by Asus, and this way I'll be able to play all my games at max settings, especially the older ones like Assassin's Creed 3. When I do get that back to continuing it, I purposely did um, play through, like, I can play in max settings. I should be able to record it at max settings. When you see the console difference between the PC difference, like the the shadow quality and lighting quality alone is just phenomenal. I you guys should probably tell me in the comments, unless it's just a simple research like link to look at about the fact of the PC version port 
wasn't exactly d perfected because when you look in the oceans it's uh like it's literally all scrambled and everything in like lines when you're moving the simple camera and everything so but other than that like it's pretty much perfectly fine i only had the camera issue a couple times even when i was in combat and whatnot it would like sometimes move stupidly but it calmed it it only did it a couple times which i hope it only does a couple times it's gonna be it's gonna i'm not sure um how i'm gonna go about recording it either through obs or shadow play which i have like i have shadow play because it's with geforce and whatnot or it should say nvidia but i have no idea how great it's going to be at all since i've never used it before so i don't know if it's going to be like elgato where it's like i need obs still running anyway for my webcam but i just hope it's very simple to use since i've never used it i also uh before i even get to ss3 3 though i what was yeah saturday i decided uh, i wanted to since i got an emulator psp emulator i wanted to finally play uh, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, uh, I was first playing on my phone and everything, but I'm just, I haven't touched it in so long, so I'm just like, I might as well, since my computer can handle pretty much any game at max settings as long as it's not 4K, because that, the reason why I didn't get like a 1080 or something is because I don't have a 4K monitor and I don't need the extra power at all, even for future pu- pu- uh, pure f roofing i don't need it like I, like if the price was the same i would have gone it but for now i don't need it plus i'm still using the 750 ti for my secondary monitor because why waste like i don't until i have my uh, future purpose for having that card on a different tower which i do have a future purpose for once I move out and whatnot of my current location, I definitely plan on doing a separate tower and everything for entertainment. Because I obviously don't want to have cable, but I'll be using that for entertainment. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I definitely, and I pro, I eventually, I'll, pro I'll definitely toss it eventually. More than likely, I'll probably change it out to like a 980 or something, or 988 Ti or something, because 750 Ti, I only got it because I didn't want the 750, and it was just a little bit more than that. I just didn't feel like going over $200 for a graphics card, that's why I got it. So, at some point, I'll probably get a 980. It'll just completely get, uh, not really get rid of it because it's still usable, but for my purposes of the cards, I don't really need it. If anything, that card can be used for just basic gaming and that's it. Like, all the older games, that's basically when it, when 750Ti was first made, they were designed for all the older games, so it can mostly just be playing Minecraft and everything. Any low end, not necessary gaming but uh yeah but yep the 1070 is absolutely perfect i the only thing i have left to technically do for my computer um um speaking of my computer uh with the uh, new graphics card new cpu i uh, also as well as new motherboard since the sockets that's different i also hated that i was unaware that the motherboard i did purchase did not support ddr3 i did because i only had ddr3 on my current on my last motherboard so i researched it i didn't realize that the motherboard was not ddr3 i should have kind of realized it seeing as how the motherboard is so brand new that it's like obviously with the new socket why wouldn't not do ddr4 so i literally had to waste that night that that entire i hated how long it took me hours i only wanted the build to take up to three hours if that but it had to be paused just so that i could go take a uh ride out to uh 
micro center and get a simple DDR4 16 gigs of RAM. 120 bucks right there. That's all that was. <laughs> and, yeah, even the uh, pers the uh, helper person was. Oh yeah, you want the RGB uh, one? It's like no, I don't need that. I have only. I literally have a top vent. That yes, I can see the LED for the fan that's put in my tower. But I have no like I even the stock fan that comes with the Ryzen 1700. Uh, Ryzen 7 series, um, I'm pretty sure they're all the same fans, but it's like, I don't even need that fan, because I had, I also got a aftermarket fan, the, uh, what was it, Cooler Master Pro 3 fan, which, if you got, you guys would definitely know the difference, because, like, you can't even hear it right now, that's how, like, my last, my last fan was literally just the stock fan that came with the CPU, <laughs> That, so it would whenever it was very um, very hardware intensive gaming or even just the rendering of videos it literally you heard them so and with the aftermarket fan you hard the only time you hear that fan go off is when the computer first starts up when it has to run the full power and then comes it down to an idle because it still it still runs just normal, but it keeps the computer completely cool and everything. Even with these past three days, it never increased the uh, vault, the uh, speed of the RPM for the fan at all. Because the CPU is well cooled and everything. Surprisingly, I was surprised that it did. like that's what I've been wondering. Is like, uh, do I have the? Uh, Things set up correctly for the fans, I'm pretty sure I do. Because <laughs> even for uh, when I was doing the wiring and everything for it, I'm like, uh, I had to show it to my dad. It's like, uh, does this look right? I know I'm going to college for this stuff. I only took one hardware class though. <laughs> Out of all my computer classes, they were all mostly software and server related stuff, and only one hardware class for wiring. And just, I only built one computer. And even then, I didn't really do that crazy good on it, but I still passed the class, obviously. But I just wanted to make sure everything was all plugged in, and I hated that, like, the motherboard design and everything was all different compared to the newer, my current motherboard, like, the actual cabling for the DVD drive was a different, like, just a different position of, of the um, port for it. So, that's a whole, like, I just, did, technically, I didn't bother want to record it because of the fact that, like, I didn't want to record it at all, just, it was just a nuisance in general, and because my, of my dad, when he, because he first put, um, put together my last PC, he stupidly put way too much liquid, uh, liquid, or thermal paste on the CPU, so it ended up getting stuck on the CPU, so when I, because I wanted to, of course, take off the CPU, or not take off CPU, I wanted to take off the heatsink, put it in the back in the original box, because it wasn't going to fit in the, uh, uh, motherboard box, I wanted to just take it, take it, disassemble it anyway, because I did, like I said, I want to do something with the motherboard, because it's still usable and everything, but that ended up making the CPU pins, uh, when I pulled it out, it, I, I really hope I don't need any motherboard, just because, technically, when you're, I don't know if it was just the CPU, that probably, the pin, like, the pins which I tried, and my mother tried, just crazy straightening it out, but they were, like, bent, they weren't broken, they were just, be like, bent forward a bit, like, it was just a hassle, so, one day, I uh, like I can easily just replace it anyway because of the socket type. I'm pretty sure there's it was a quad core and everything, so I'm sure that there more than likely I can easily get either replacement of it easily, or I can get a better uh, core processor. I'm not what sure which one. It's just from the FX series, so I should be able to get. A better CPU even then that probably is e either the same price or even cheaper than what my dad paid which I don't even remember because it was like a whole entire bundle that uh, he bought 
because the only saving grace was that G G P uh, G uh, GTX 750 Ti. But anyway, I've been talking for 15 minutes anyway, and um, I didn't want to have this video be for so long. But uh, uh, video or videos will be definitely as long as OBS and Elgato both just stay fine. Uh, videos should be coming just regularly. I'm not. Sh I still don't know if I'm doing every other day or every day. Uh, just it just depends on my work schedule and everything. Going from noon to nine and everything, because that's how I start. Like just how I like it. Plenty of sleep. Then gaming at night until I go to bed back at midnight, <laughs> just because I feel like it. But uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty much. But I, like I said, recording Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, and then I'll get back to 3, and then of course, well, I'm gonna hate it so much that once I'm done with 3, I'm gonna have to go back to the console just to play the DLCs, and then all just console stuff just because I don't feel, unless I were to have somehow every single game that's available for the PC, which I'm pretty sure it's all of them now, other than um, one, I think. Think, or some like technically all the games up to syndicate and everything like since Empire supposed Empire um, obviously isn't even out by now but uh, I definitely like unless they were all just go cheap I would definitely play in the PC but I'll just have to be doing console and everything but um, beyond that I also of course got Rest the Telltale games, I still got planned out the remaining of um, the Batman series, got the Wolf Among Us series. Uh, whenever Guardians of the Galaxy finishes up, I'll definitely be doing that as well. Got a whole bunch of uh, games to play during the summer, as well as I'll be uh, streaming, which I did already stream uh, one session of Doom. Which, I hate that I only did it for like 45 minutes because it took me time to basically get all the audio and everything fixed up that it just took too, so long that it's like, guess what, no one showed up. Like, one person looked at it for like probably two minutes or something and then left and didn't say a word and even my actual, like they must have been like a guest or something that wasn't signed in because there was no user thing even in the pop out window for the chat there was no user listed but be sure to follow me on twitter because i'm not one of those uh channels that likes to public publicize a video saying oh yeah i'm live and everything now i find that pointless because then it's like more than likely they're just priving the video and then I don't even know how they're republishing it and whatnot, I, like other than saying public, but I don't know how they're like rebroadcasting it through emails and whatnot, so I just don't feel like doing that because it's uh, one of the people I do, mostly all he does is upload a live stream of past live streams and then just announce, oh yeah, streaming, while you can easily see that also on their Twitter, so like I said, follow me on Twitter for future updates as well as to know when I'm streaming. And hopefully, I don't have any more recording problems in the future. And yeah, that I think will probably do it. So leave a like on the video if you uh, definitely look forward to watching me during the summer. Even though I still got one small little college thing left to do that it has not been immediate since obviously I haven't done it in the past two weeks that I've been out already, but I it's not immediate, but it should be immediate. <laughs> it should be a priority to do. But since I I just wanted some time not to think about it because it's a pain in the ass thing to do, which not really any of your concern people of the internet, but uh, what, anything else? Oh yeah, comment down below, um, any games I should stream, as well as any games, uh, that you recommend I should record, and also, I just wanted to know if you guys actually 
like watching my content or do you want me to change it up a bit and like edit it out so that it's more of a fast pace type of let's play like all the people like I know that the games I record and everything aren't um at like you people like certain some people some younger people I should say would rather just watch a quick video uh and like they have to know in the first five seconds or less than that even if they should even keep watching uh, as well as adults like some may not even be interested in it but they just want to make sure that the video is basically um, worthy of their time since they may be on their lunch break or something I can completely understand that but uh, something about just cell phones I just thought of, but that has nothing to do with the conversation we're having. But uh, please be sure to look forward to more videos. And uh, hopefully I get to 5,000 subscribers finally by either the end of this summer or the end of this year. So subscribe for that whole goal. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye now.